Okay, so in this example, we're going to take a look at the work of Byron Katie, and we're going to just work through an issue that comes up, and this one is very common. So if you're not familiar with it, um, the work of Byron Katie, this is what we're doing, and it's described as a written meditation, which is very, very true. So if you haven't done it before, basically uh, here are the instructions. This is, you're questioning a belief you hold that basically is causing you suffering. So on the line below, write down a stressful concept about someone alive or dead whom you haven't forgiven 100%. So for example, he doesn't care about me. Now it doesn't even have to be about a person in fact, it can be about a situation in life or a recurring problem or belief that is causing you suffering. So it says, then question the concept in writing. Now, in writing, that's really where the power in all this work comes from. It's actually you're writing it down because if you can get down what your ego believes on paper, in black and white, it can't do its little mischievous maneuvers. It can't really escape analysis. So you're gonna use the following questions and turnarounds. So if you don't know what a turnaround is, we will see in a few moments what that is. We're going to be looking at the belief and essentially a turnaround is putting it in sort of an opposite way to get to a deeper truth about what it is. So use additional paper as needed. When answering the questions, close your eyes, be still and witness what appears to you. So really what you're thinking of is witness what happens to you. Or it, it really involves not taking too general a view of things putting yourself in the situation or event that is causing you the suffering. So if it's an argument with a friend, you don't think generally about friendship or problems with friendship. You think about that exact specific instance when you had the emotional block. And inquiry stops working the moment you stop answering the questions. So we really have to follow the instructions here on this, right? That is a very important aspect of this. So let's begin. So here is a thought that comes up, an example. This one might be my job is boring. Okay, my job is boring. Now, how many people believe that thought? A lot of us, and a lot of us carry that thought around. So let's scan down. That's what we're starting with in this situation. So think about uh, when you tend to think about that. Okay, maybe it's in the morning before you go to work or before you've got to take on um, an assignment or a project that you've been avoiding. Okay, so picture yourself in that situation. Maybe think about where you're sitting, where about in your, ho in your house are you when these thoughts come up. Maybe you're in bed. Okay, think about that. So the first question, number one, is it true? Yes or no? That is what you have to answer. So the first thing that comes to me here is is my my job is boring I would say yes there are aspects of my job that I find to be boring that is true I believe that that is true so next thing we do is we go on to question two can you absolutely know that it's true yes or no okay so that's where a bit of stillness comes in here okay can can I absolutely know that that is true? I would have to say there are instances when I do feel like it's boring, but it's not not all the time. So yeah, I, I feel that it's true, but I can't honestly say 100% that it is true, even though I feel like it is. So I guess I'm going to have to say no to that one. So. The instructions really are, no matter what you say, whether it's yes or no, uh, you just continue. You just continue on to the, the third question. So the third question, and let's scan down a little bit. How do you react? It says, when you believe that thought. How do you react when you believe that thought? So how do I react when I believe that thought? I would have to say it's fills me 
with a sense of pessimism. That is how I feel. I feel... I feel... Lethargic. Um, and I... I feel like I have to battle with myself. That's how that makes me feel every time I have that thought. That's the honest truth. That's how I feel when I when I believe my job is boring. So A says, those that thought bring peace or stress. Well, that's definitely stress. Okay, that thought is causing me stress. What images do you see, past and future? And what physical sensations arise as you think that thought and witness those images? So I see myself, I see myself sort of in my office, but I see myself avoiding work. I see myself procrastinating. What else? Um, what sensations come up? I feel. I feel tight. In my chest. What else? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I can see that happening. I avoid work. I feel. I'm procrastinating. I feel tight in my chest. Uh, in terms of the future, I see. A long battle ahead. I can see this going on forever. I can never see my job or my work as being anything other than being boring. So what emotions arise when you believe that thought? Refer to the emotional list. Well, the emotions for me are, I feel frustration. I feel guilt because I'm not engaging I feel shame I feel anxious about the future anxiety fearful I feel fear so that would kind of sum up how I feel let's just continue D is do any obsessions or addictions begin to appear when you believe that thought do you act out on any of the following Alcohol, drugs, credit cards, food, sex, television, computers. I would say for sure addiction does come up and it comes in the form of, um, I would say maybe television. I would say occasionally food, maybe internet, you know, watching YouTube clips. Uh, you know, way too many, more than is good for me. Um, anything else that comes up for me there? Um, I feel like I avoid, or I, I can't do other things in life. I would enjoy that's it that's a something that's a feeling that comes up for me because i feel well you know i'm not doing my work but i have to do the work um but because i haven't done the work well i can't exercise i can't um, play music i can't hang out with my friends so i put off all the other things um e there is how do you treat the person in the situation when you believe the thought well i i attack myself For sure. I attack myself. I feel worthless. In terms of my job, I hate my job. I hate my job. I avoid it. I see it as a big problem. 
so that's how I feel um, when I carry that that thought okay and that's that's true that's how I how I feel so the next part is and at the top of this next page all you do is you just re rewrite the thought so you can see it there as you're working through it so my job is boring my job is boring okay so question four is who would you be without that thought so what who or what are you without the thought so what we're asked to do here is imagine yourself see yourself in the situation and all you're going to do in this situation is remove the thought my, my job is boring so who would I be without the thought my job is boring so I'm just going to pause for a second and think about that who would I be without the thought my job is boring okay well without the thought in that situation I would say I feel way more relaxed I feel like work is doable um, I don't resent it anymore What else without that thought? Um, I feel it will be easier to start work. Okay, so I would be free. The battle. would be over a bit of a release there for me on that one so let's continue last thing we're asked to do is turn the thought around so what we do is we turn it around so there's a number of ways you can do this right um you can do it to the self, to the other, or to the opposite. So the opposite for me, the opposite of that would be, um, my my job is boring. My job is, well, what's the opposite of boring? Exciting. My job is exciting. And what you're asked to do then is, come up with three three ways as many ways as you can at least I think it says at least three specific genuine examples of how each turnaround is true for you in this situation okay so my job is exciting how exactly is that true my job is exciting okay okay my job is exciting <coughs> so my job is exciting well I have experienced excitement in the past. That is true. You know, I have had exhilarating moments um, with regard to my work before. That is definitely true. I have experienced excitement in the past. My job is exciting. How else is that true? And really what we've been asked to do here is, you know, we put our job, or I put my job on trial here. Okay, I judged it. And now I've been asked to sort of act like I'm, I'm a lawyer for my job and try to sort of defend it. Okay, so how could I defend my job? Well, I'm thinking about the specific aspects of my job that I didn't like before, that I was avoiding. My job is exciting. Okay. My job is exciting. I would say it's true that my job is exciting because I don't know 
where it will lead me. I don't know where it will lead me. So the work I've been avoiding, the work I, I thought I didn't like, is actually, I think it is true to say it's exciting because I don't know where it will lead. I've been avoiding it up to now, but if I engage with it, the truth is that I don't know what will come of that effort. It could lead me anywhere, you know? There could be opportunities there that I've never seen before. So that's pretty exciting, I, I have to admit. What other turnaround could I give for that? My job is exciting. My job is exciting. Well, I would say that it's true that my job is exciting. And again, you know, I'm struggling here with these, but that's okay. That's the work. Okay, you have to just be still for a bit when you're doing this. My job is exciting. Okay, my job is exciting. My job is exciting. Okay. Well, my job is exciting. Because I find it challenging. That is true, I think. I mean, if it was just literally simple or incredibly obvious what I had to do and there was no thought involved in it or it was incredibly easy, like ridiculously easy, I would not find it exciting either. So the fact that there are aspects of it I find, you know, challenging does make it exciting. Okay, so my job is exciting. Second turnaround. I'm going to have a look at another one, see if I can find a different turnaround. So the original one was my job is boring. What about... Not my job is boring. my avoidance is boring now this is a bit easier for me that is true not doing it is boring that is true that is i have to say that is true um why is that true i don't enjoy what I do as I avoid so you know the excessive television watching the excessive um, web surfing YouTube I don't particularly enjoy that in fact it is boring at this stage you know just the avoiding of that stuff so my avoidance is boring well that's true because I know exactly how it will go and more importantly how I will feel afterwards let me just scan up there a little bit in case that's not clear I know exactly how I will feel afterwards. That's true. I know I'll feel guilty. Um, what else? Uh, my avoidance is boring. Another way that that is true. My avoidance is boring. It's too easy. My avoidance is too easy. You know? it's there's no thought involved let 
and that is true. My avoidance is boring. Okay, so they are the, thir the turnarounds. And if we look back, we have two turnarounds for that one. I'm trying to think, is there any other turnarounds to that? The original thought being, my job is boring. Um, I can't think of any other turnarounds at the moment. But what we have are two. My job is exciting. My avoidance is boring. And what we're left with from having done the work here in this session is basically two self-made affirmations. Number one and number two. When we are now, when I'm in this situation, in when I'm going to be doing this work that I've, I previously believed was boring, these are the things I will be saying to myself. My job is exciting. My avoidance is boring. And I'm not saying them to convince myself. I've already proven that that is true by doing the work and the analysis. So I know that um, my avoidance is boring. I believe that. I truly do believe that that is, is true. And my job is exciting. This one was a bit trickier for me, right? But I have at least come away with the realization that my avoidance is boring. But I do also believe that my job is exciting. I have experienced excitement in the past with my job. I don't know where it will lead me. And my job is exciting because I find it challenging. If it was too easy, what would be the point? So that is today's example of me applying the work to a situation that has caused me stress in the past and I already feel a bit lighter about my work. I already feel like it's going to be a little bit easier to bring myself to do it. So that is how I do the work. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be doing these uh, applications of the work of Byron Katie in future. You can practice along with me. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I will talk to you soon.